Alright, hey, welcome to my channel. I just got a new ring light and everything, so I'm going to test it out. And since the Too Faced is having like a 70% off thing, I thought I should just use the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette. And I'm going to show you guys just a regular look that I do on my eyes. I've just had a lot of people asking me how I do my eye makeup, so now I'm going to show you. Alright, first, take the primer. I use Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's just worked for me most of the time. And I actually do put this, like just rub this into my eyelids. I don't put a ton on though, I only put a little bit. So yeah. We start with the primer, and then I go to my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream. Yeah, this is just in the color Whiteout. It's just a super white color, but when I apply this, every the colors just show easier. And then I use a beauty blender. To blend that in. Alright. And then next, start with my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with a transition shade first. I'm going to use Nougat, it's that little pink one. I'm going to start off with that because it's like the lightest color. And I'm just going to put it into my crease. I love the smell of this palette. Ugh. And today it was only like, it's, I think it's sold out now, but it went on sale for like 20 bucks and it's a it's a pretty good palette for that and then after that I'm gonna go in with the shade peanut butter so yeah I'm gonna go right into my crease also mm. just like that Go into my other crease too. <laughs> I feel like I should have music or something, <laughs> but I'm still learning. All right, after that, I'm gonna go for a darker color. I prefer the color truffled. So I just, I mean, I keep like adding different colors to my crease, and the more darker they get, the more outer. I go with them, like the more I put them into my outer crease. So yeah. I don't know if that's the terminology. I kind of, I'm starting to go a little bit lower though than the lighter colors, so it like starts to blend. And the lighter colors can blend out into my upper eye. So yeah, and then I'm going to go in with Hot Fudge. I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to use black in this one. We'll see how I feel after the Hot Fudge. <laughs> oh yeah. My mirror is over here. I gotta get my whole like vanity set up. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions, let me know. Alright. So yeah, my crease looks mostly dark. The things that should be light are this is light on me, and then my upper upper eyelids should have no color on them. 
Okay, and I'm gonna leave that. And I'm gonna get a different brush. I'm just using some brush I got on Wal <laughs> Walgreens. I think it's like a Beauty and the Beast collection brush. And I am gonna go in with the coconut cream. We're gonna see how that goes. And I'm just gonna go right where it's like lighter on my eyelids, so basically across my lid. And it's gonna blend a little bit into the hot fudge. So yeah, I'm using this color, coconut cream. And I just went, I just swooped it under the cut crease. And then next I'm gonna use the butter pecan. So that's also the other big shade. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> butter pecan. Hope everyone is having a happy Sunday. I know I am. And next, we, I go in with my eyeliner. I'm actually gonna make sure that this is all blended out. I'm like, when I'm doing makeup, it's not like I have like a, first I do this, first I do this. I'm like all over the place. I'm like, wait, I want to do this. Wait, I want to try this. So yeah, next I'm going to use liquid eyeliner, tattoo eyeliner by Kat Von D in the color Trooper. Everybody, I'm sure everybody knows what this is. <laughs> and I'm going to draw wings onto my eyes. I kind of have to be close to the... Ooh, I kind of have to get close to my mirror, so I'll just bring the mirror to me. And I'm kind of like a big wing kind of girl. So yeah, I mean you can do a little wing, but I mean there was this picture online and it was like this little cartoon character drawing a wing and every time one side got bigger she'd have to make the other side bigger and I'm like yeah that's that's basically me. I am not perfect at my wing eyeliner. There's no way. And that's my dog behind me. He left his toy in my room, so he's probably going to be chewing on that. <laughs> Don't mind him. Alright, now on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Please take time. Has anybody seen a good movie in theaters lately? Or <laughs> what, what can I bring up? I've been getting ready for Halloween even more. I did some gore makeup today. That was fun. Um, I watched a lot. I watched Hocus Pocus. I got Hocus Pocus on Blu-ray at like a resale shop because I bought a whole ton of other movies he was just like oh you can have this one for free and it was still packaged blu-ray and dvd special hocus pocus I was ecstatic so yeah and yeah that's that <laughs> that's the best they can do for now <laughs> they look mostly close enough 
And for, I used to just use any underlid eyeliner in the color black, but now I'm just sticking to Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil because it glides on so well. And I love how dark it is. And I basically just go right on the waterline because I'm like that. <laughs> Sometimes it splotches down, but whatever. I go hard on it too. I'm just like <laughs> the blackness. <laughs> I'm like the crow. Sometimes I use my eyeliner to like just fix any whiteness that could or fix any of uh, my skin that could be showing through on the upper eyeliner because these ones work during that for that I don't know what I'm saying and last I am using Bad Gal Gang by Benefit I used to be I used to really like um better than sex and I was like because I like the big dramatic brows and Benefit came out with Bad Gal Bang and so yeah I've decided to try it and I loved it so that's been my go-to and I just I do it like the dramatic way I don't know when someone was doing my makeup one time they were like this is like if you go back and forth like this, it's dramatic. Cause I don't really, I kind of like that big eyelash clumpy look. <laughs> then I do my under, my bottom eyelashes, my under eyelashes. Okay. And then I get some on my face cause that happens. I'm a person. And so yeah and this is the final look yeah so that's mostly how I do like a natural eye look on my eyes in case anybody was wondering because I've had tons of people like ask me to show them how to do it and I, yeah so that's the end of my video <laughs> my dog is just making noises with his toys and it's funny it's distracting me <laughs> I'm easily distracted but thank you for watching this video I hope you subscribe to my channel I am gonna start putting out way more videos now that I have the ring light and yeah I'll see you guys later bye